We start with that breaking news, and it is big news here in the Charlotte area. The first coronavirus vaccine arriving here within the last half hour. Atrium Health getting its first shipment of Pfizer's vaccine. You can see the photos that they've just put out in the last 20 minutes or so. This comes after the FDA granted emergency use for the drug late Friday night. Some of our local hospitals will be some of the very first to give the va that vaccine in the coming days. WC and C. Charlotte's Billie Jean Shaw now live from Atrium Health, where they just got that shipment you uh, saw pictures of. All right, Billie Jean, what's the latest? Hey there, good morning, Ben and Carolyn. Really big news coming out of Charlotte, North Carolina, where, as you mentioned, the first batch of COVID-19 vaccines from Pfizer has arrived right here at Atrium Health in Dilworth. Now, this is the first hospital in our area and among the first in the nation to receive the vaccines. And we just learned Atrium is receiving close to 3,000 of the state's 86,000 doses that were scheduled to be delivered this week. Now, Atrium was chosen as one of the early spots to receive the vaccinations due to the facility's ability to store the doses, which requires a temperature of negative 94 degrees Fahrenheit. The vaccine nations will be distributed in a phased plan with residents and staff in long term care facilities and healthcare workers who deal directly with COVID-19 patients being the first to become vaccinated by Ju then by June of next year. That's when state leaders say they plan to make the vaccine available to the general public to everyone. We're also hearing from Governor Roy Cooper. He just put out a tweet in the last hour and he describes this as a remarkable achievement for science and health. But reminds the public that the vaccinations, the supply, they're limited right now and you still need to wear a mask and practice social distancing. We also checked in with other hospitals in our area, including Novant Health and a rep tells us that right now this is only tentative. This can change at any moment. They plan to receive their vaccine, their, their vaccine, excuse me, by this Thursday. But again, that all could change. I also just checked in with South Carolina Piedmont Medical Center. They don't know when they will be receiving vaccines seems just yet, but they expect that it will be coming very soon, especially what we're seeing here across the border in North Carolina. Coming up in the next half hour, I'm going to break down how the state is planning to make sure people get both uh, doses of the vaccine. We know that's the only way that it could be effective. So stick around for our noon show. I'll have all that information. Ben and Carolyn, back to you. Uh, big day, big day here. Huge day. And across the country. Billie Jean, thanks.